So far, it seems that 2021 is an active year for volcanic eruptions. Since February and March, three volcanoes in three separate countries have released lava, including the Fagrad Als Fjall volcano in Iceland, Mount Etna in Italy and Pacaya in Guatemala. All of the erupting volcanoes have drawn crowds of spectators set on marveling at the fiery spectacles. Stunning video captured the Fagrad Als Fjall volcano on April 1st spewing lava as expressions of amazement can be heard in the background. Local reports said tens of thousands of people had visited the area to see the eruption. The Mount Fagrad Als Fjall volcano, located on the Reykjanes Peninsula in southwestern Iceland, sprung to life on March 19, marking the area's first volcanic eruption in nearly 800 years. Iceland's Department of Emergency Management said it was not anticipating evacuations because the volcano is about a mile and a half from the nearest road. We are monitoring the situation closely and as of now it is not considered a threat to surrounding towns, Iceland Prime Minister Katrín Jacobsdóttir said. We ask people to keep away from the immediate area and stay safe. Addition to Iceland experiencing the ongoing eruption, Italy and Guatemala have also been visited with a few volcanic eruptions of their own this year. Italy's Mount Etna volcano belched out a towering cloud of ash and lava stone March 7 onto Sicilian villages, after a series of explosions that began in mid-February. The explosion was the tenth such big blast since February 16, when Europe's most active volcano started giving off an impressive demonstration of nature's firepower, coloring the night sky in shocking hues of orange and red. Like its distant Italian cousin, the Pacaya volcano just 30 miles south of Guatemala's capital has also been active since February. Tourists frequently hike up to visit the Pacaya's peak, but those trips have been temporarily cancelled due to the recent activity. Pacaya has a clear view of the nearby volcano of fire, which erupted in 2018 emitting a fast-moving avalanche of superheated muck that killed at least 110 people and left about 200 missing. Volcano tourism is the lifeblood of villages like San Francisco de Sales, perched near Pacaya's Peak, and for locals it is a question of learning to live with the danger. Pacaya had an explosive blast in 2010 that killed a reporter and two local people, but the most recent eruption has not caused any injuries thus far. On other media, Italy's Mount Etna volcano has erupted again, mesmerizing people once again with its spectacular explosions. The volcano in eastern Sicily spewed out towering clouds of ash and lava stones on March 12. Footage by Giuseppe Di Stefano, who runs Etna Walk, shows the volcano sending a large grey plume of ash and lava into the Sicilian sky. In the video, Loud booms can be heard as lava rains from the sky in a fiery and terrifying spectacle. On the morning of March 7, ash and small lava stones rained down on eight villages on Etna's slopes. 
Lava flowed from the southeast side of the crater slowly down an uninhabited side, as it has been doing since the volcano rumbled back to life on February 16. The column of ash and lava reached 10,000 meters feet, high that day. No injuries or serious damage have been reported after the recent blasts. Geologically active, Etna occasionally becomes particularly noisy and explosive as it has been lately. The INGV scientists say there is no way of predicting when this current round of particularly robust volcanic activity might subside. 